फ्रस्ट्रेटेड बट आई कॉन्ट एग्रेस इतना किसी ने गाली दी कुछ किया एंड यू नो वट्स अप यू गाइज अरिति वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल वे आर बैक विद अनादर अग्रेशन टॉपिक आई ऑलरेडी सेट दिस इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट वीडियो दैट आई मेड अबाउट अग्रेशन दैट अग्रेशन वॉज वन ऑफ दोज चैप्टर्स दैट एक्चुअली गॉट मी वेरी मच इंटरेस्टेड इन सोशल साइकोलॉजी सो वी ऑलरेडी स्पोक अबाउट इफ और हाउ डज बायोलॉजिकल फैक्टर्स प्ले अ रोल इन अग्रेशन एंड वी स्पोक अबाउट सिगमेंट फ्रॉयड एंड कॉन्ड लॉरेंस एंड आई थिंक टू रिसर्च स्टडीज आई एम सॉरी फू कैन हियर अ डॉग और अ पॉपी बाकिंग आई हैव टू नेबर्स दैट हैव डॉग्स Uh, so I was saying that we have uh, done the instinct theory or biological factors and how they play a role in aggression. Today we'll see one more theory uh, regarding aggression, which is known as drive theories. So we already know that a lot of social psychologists, like most of the social psychologists, totally rejected the instinct theory uh, given by Sigmund Freud and Conrad Lorenz. and they came up with an alternative perspective that aggression stems from an externally elicited drive to harm others and this view has been reflected in the drive theories of aggression so you need to understand that drive theories hai it's plural but we are just going to speak about one theory today okay so there are many reasons and many factors the, the, that will make us aggress against other people uh maybe it's provocation maybe it's frustration maybe it's because um there is a weapon present in the room um and all of these and many other factors and we will talk about it in and we will talk about it in um in different videos on this channel but today we'll talk about one 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 drive theory which proposes that there is an external condition and that creates frustration which makes us aggress against others this theory is known as frustration aggression hypothesis so this theory suggests that you have a goal and you want to reach that goal but something prevents you from reaching that goal and this thing causes a uh, um, sorry causes frustration in you which makes you uh, harm others and that drive makes you aggress against others so that's how it actually goes so according to this theory the primary goal is to harm others to injure others and let me tell you social psychologists um do not really accept this theory so much it's very appealing because We do hear something like this, right? कि oh he must be frustrated इसलिए उसने चिल्ला दिया और he must have punched someone or if a girl or a uh, someone he they um a, like argue or you know they slap their roommate or something like that they aggress against their roommate. Um, people may say that oh she must be frustrated with her roommate. So we use this reason for um like frustration like as a reason. uh to justify or to understand somebody else's overt aggression so frustration is one of the reasons that people may aggress but there are also multiple reasons why they may be aggressing so because of this uh, justification and because this frustration aggression hypothesis has been so well known that people have openly accepted it and as you also see it in real life people have accepted it they tend to accept it so this hypothesis frustration aggression hypothesis has made two assertions first is that frustration always leads to some form of aggression and aggression always stems from frustration and because of these uh, statements right um these statements actually seem very appealing and all of that but they're not really accurate like i said um also what happens is that this hypothesis or this assertions have put too much of emphasis on frustration but in reality whoever is frustrated like let's take that girl you know who took it out on a roommate for getting a low grade 
um, not everybody is going to take out on other people. Not everybody is going to aggress against others. Some people, maybe like her, maybe she would just lie in her bed and cry all day, or. she may write in her journal because she is very sad so there are all, there are so many different ways people deal with frustration so like that example kind of explains you that frustration se sirf aggression hi aayega aisa nahi hai some people um, everybody has different reactions some people may feel sad some may, may feel despair some may be disheartened some may be depressed so there are different reactions that people may come up um also there are also like i've said there are so many different reasons and those so many different factors that can influence us and that can cause us to aggress against others so there was this one person called as adam lanza so he went on a school rampage okay he uh, shot lot of people in his school and before he did that he actually shot his own mother in the house and then he went and he shot um a lot of uh, i think primary kids um i'll if i find a link to that to the to his story i will put it in the description box so you can read it yourself so if it was frustration that caused him to um go on a rampage in his school then why did he kill his mother in the first place so there are a lot of other factors that do come into play now um now everybody is not going to just totally reject it right everybody has their own reasoning everybody thinks for themselves and some have accepted it some have rejected it so let's talk about why some people may have accepted this frustration aggression hypothesis because some social psychologists have accepted it um because frustration is one of the factors not the only factor that leads us to aggress against others but um frustration can be a very powerful determinant of aggression in certain conditions like if something has happened to you and it is viewed as illegitimate and unjustified that frustration can lead you to aggress against others so let's take the same girl you know who took out on her roommate but in a different context like she got a low grade um, in one of the exams now she tends to perceive that low grade as her professor being unjust and uh, she did not deserve this low grade maybe she thinks that um, her professor is white and she is not white maybe she is black or maybe she is hispanic or something so he is being racial about it so in such conditions she could or she may actually aggress against him maybe passive aggressive not overtly aggressive we'll also speak about why she would be passive aggressive and not really go and punch him depends on from person to person but if she thinks that she she has received a low grade because of it's unjustified because of unfair treatment then there are more chances of her being aggressive towards her professor but in the same con in the same situation uh, she perceives her low grade as maybe she did not study enough that's what she thinks she thinks that you know she should have put more effort and she should have put more number of hours instead of spending all of her time with her friends or lazing around and watching netflix in such a situation she is not going to aggress against him although she did not reach her goal because getting a low grade is not it's justified she understands that it's her fault it's low internal locus of control i mean i'm just confusing him i guess by saying that but she does not think that uh, she was she received an unfair treatment by getting a low grade from the professor and that is it for today's video i'm so sorry about the dog and the construction and the crow i really cannot do anything about it i'm frustrated but i can't agree Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned something new. We will speak more about aggression. I really, really enjoy this topic. Um, I hope you guys do, or I have at least your interest. So like, share, and subscribe for more psychology content. I'll see you next Friday with another psychology video.